Welcome back to my channel. This is the first day out on my road trip adventure heading from California to Bettendorf, Iowa. Little did I know how much drama this first day would bring. This is a walk around of the trailer which is pretty heavy. These gas pumps are going to Robbie Wolf's show called Bettendorf Americana if you want to look it up. It's right on the Mississippi River. This is going to be the first year that Rob is holding this event. It should be interesting because he's combining a car show with an antique show. And I think the car show should bring in some buyers for the different antiques that are going to be available there. Well, the drama of this first day is about to unfold, so let's get in the truck and get down the road. I must say it was a beautiful Friday morning and things seemed perfectly normal when I got on the I-15 interstate heading towards Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, the adventure begins. I am in the Mojave Desert right now and the AC went out in my Dodge diesel truck. Now, it's not the compressor I just checked. It appears to be a blendor issue now if any of you know anything about automobiles and trucks there's a blower housing up under the dash i pulled the glove box out and there's a flap that directs either heat or cold air and i need to access that it appears i may have to pull the entire dash out to get to it I'm not looking forward to that. It's getting pretty hot out here already. So let's see what we can do, because it's a long trip and I want to definitely have AC, especially when we get into the humid states in the Midwest. Okay. I found out that the Blendor motor is right back here. Now, normally you have to pull the dash to get to it. Guess what? We did roadside surgery grabbed this Doyle utility knife, made a couple of cuts, and reached in there and turned it to cold, moved the lever manually, which helped it. It was just stuck. Obviously, it needs a new Blendor motor, which is right there. But I moved that little steel rod towards the right direction for cold air, and I've got full cold AC now. Now, I'm just gonna leave that control on cold for my entire trip, full cold. When I get home, I could put this piece back and epoxy it. This is behind the glove box, so no one will ever see it. We were cruising along and all of a sudden, the freeway came to almost a halt. We were creeping and it was over 112 outside. Then stop and go driving in the middle of the Mojave Desert now. Dodge diesel truck started to run a little warm. I was concerned, so I pulled off and shut it down. It was a major accident involving a truck carrying lithium batteries, a fatal accident this morning. And the I-15 is backed up for miles. It was horrible. After sitting in traffic for five hours, they turned us around, made us go south. Then we got on the I-40 and ended up in this mess because it was overloaded with vehicles heading east. Well, now I'm caught in this horrible traffic on the Interstate 40 for mega hours. And I only traveled like a few miles, it seemed like. We were gridlocked. 
I knew I was in a bad situation and I knew I was in trouble and I envisioned what could happen in this situation. I started praying. It wasn't more than 60 seconds after I prayed for help that a tow truck pulled up next to me. I blew the horn and asked for help in selling me some fuel and God provided the fuel and I got back on the road and sat in traffic for at least six more hours and I made it to the next fueling station. This video clip is dedicated to my good friend, Carl Discover. This is known as the upside down car out in the desert. I wasn't sure if this would still be here, but it sure is. I'd love to pull this thing over with my Dodge truck and a tote strap, but I've had one heck of a day having to change completely my direction of travel from the northern route to the southern route because Interstate I-15 was completely shut down because of a terrible accident and hazmat spill. Again, I ask you guys to identify this vehicle two, three years ago. I don't think anybody actually was sure what it was. How was that for a first day out on a road trip adventure? Well, I appreciate all of you watching my videos and supporting me and following me along the way. Until next time, take care and stay tuned because I have lots more video content coming your way soon.